All right, we're back from the fundraiser, the Lobster Fest fundraiser. And all I got to say is, score! Wait till you see what I got. Remember I told you I was going to have all the waiters take aside everything that people discarded, what they didn't use, the joints, the claws, any tail meat that they left. I dropped off my cooler earlier today, and the uh, host of the event, well, he's known me for a while, knows I'm kind of ridiculous that way, but I don't want to see waste. So let me show you what I came up with. Oh, 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 man, look at this. I'm like this. I'm jumping up and down. I'm jumping up and down because I am mad excited. Look at these claws. Look at the size of these claws. These are from three to four pound lobsters each, and they are all filled with beautiful, succulent, awesome lobster meat. Look at the joints. These are all from the body. I just ripped those off. This is tail meat. People left whole tails, half of tails, in the shell. I just plucked those bad boys out. I don't know how many pounds of meat we're going to get out of this, but I'm going to seal it up and use it for a lot of good things. And I got some heads for the stock, and I was getting so many heads, I just started ripping off these little claws because the shells are beautiful for stock. I'm going to roll the meat out, and that makes a ton of little lobster garnishy things for lobster balls, all kinds of good stuff. Over here on the stove, I got the pot going, and in here, We've got aromatics going, and I'm going to add a little bit of sherry and vermouth to that, and we are going to get some stock going. i got a lot of work ahead of me. i got my tools, so I'm going to get cracking. Okay, so we're about an hour and a half into shelling lobster. I just poke, 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 shell, shell, shell. I'm doing the joint meat now. My system is to go large to small. First I do the tails. They're easy and that's the primus piece. Then I do the claws. I separate the good whole claws from the piece that came out as chunks. And then I'm doing the joints. Time consuming, but so worth it. The joint meat is so sweet. I got about a hundred holes in my fingers because I get these love bites from the shells. But you know what? It's worth it. And you see the product that comes. Let me show you what I got. See right there? It's a lot of lobster meat, isn't it? For free. But, <laughs> that's only the second half of the claw meat. Come here, let me show you what I did. We've been busy. In the fridge, look down here. Oh, that is the claw meat. This is easily, easily three pounds, maybe three and a half pounds of claw meat. The people threw away. This is the first half of that joint meat, and in the freezer, I've got all those tails. What I did was I sealed them and I froze them. That way they're preserved for future use. I'll thaw them slow and they'll do just fine. These are all those little claws that we were talking about. We're going to deal with those in a bit. And these are shells that wouldn't fit in the pan and that's stock for another day. Man, oh man, I am stoked. So over here, I've got the stock going. It is filled to the rim with bodies and shells. Okay, so you don't feel like sucking the meat out of about three or four hundred little legs. I got a trick that'll make this process go a little bit quicker. Use a wooden rolling pin. Roll, squeeze. Look at that, come right out of there. Comes out about the same size as crayfish meat. And we can use these little bits of meat for a whole lot of things. All that liquid transferred over to this other stock pot. I bring it back to the stove get it on a nice light boil. I threw in a nice bunch of parsley from my garden and some black peppercorns and one teaspoon of Old Bay seasoning. Shh, I'm from Maryland. What can I say? So what I'm going to do is let this reduce, eh, let's say the volume by about a half. Then we're going to have dark, rich, lobstery sauce. The smell in here is intense. Thanks to my new heavy-duty fan, it's much less intense than it has been in the past. I tried to make this at a friend's house one time, and he kicked me out! He loves my bisque and everything I make with the stock, but <laughs> that's a lot of lobster in your house to be boiling overnight. The stock is reducing. While it does, the most crucial, important thing you can do is remove the impurities frequently and thoroughly. Anything that foams up to the top, skimmed off. That's it. If you don't, it cooks back into the stock and it makes it cloudy and it brings undesirable flavors. The end. Well, sadly, we're coming to the end of this beautiful lobster evening. Great party, great cause, and great, great lobster. Look how clear 
this stock is. We have removed every impurity and we come up with a true lobster demi-glace. This is going to make so many dishes taste so good and I am excited to make them. I'm lobster rich.